Hi everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel Laura Craft. Today I'm going to go through how you should start cosplaying and what you should think about when you start with your costume. So this video is really good for you beginners and also for you guys who have done costumes before. You can follow me on my Facebook page and also see me live stream on Twitch channel. I hope this video helps you and if you want to know more or you want to ask me something just write to me on my Facebook page or, or write to me an email that works too Okay, let's start with the basic What is cosplay? Cosplay is costume play you can say It's the easiest way to explain to people who haven't been in the cosplay community for that long or doesn't know exactly what cosplay is So costume play is the easiest way to say it it's when you dress up as your favorite character from game, anime, manga or movies. You can cosplay from whatever you like. You can also design your own character and it's getting really popular. Then you just make the costume yourself or you buy one. But let's start with the part when you feel like you want to start cosplaying. And it's usually really hard in the beginning because you don't really know where to start. It's really easy to start cosplay, but the hardest part is to choose a character. But I usually cut it down, so choose one of your favorite characters. A movie character, a game character, or an anime or a manga character. You can also design your own character. But in cosplay, it's really popular to choose a character that does exist. Okay, let's choose a character. Oh, this one, that one, oh, this is really hard. Okay, Lara Croft. It's my favorite gaming character, I will choose that one. So, where to start? Here I have one picture of Lara Croft. Hmm, one, the most important thing. You need to have reference pictures. A lot. So you need to have picture of this costume from every side, so you can see every detail that she has. You can also buy a lot of awesome books. Tomb Raider, they have art of Tomb Raider, and there they have every detail she has on her. So it's really good if you try to find so many pictures of this character from books, use the internet, or a 3D model. Oh, look at this! She looks amazing! I can see everything! Also, if there's a really hard to find specific picture of one character, so the parts that you can't see, you design it yourself or write to the designer who created the character. I need help! It sounds really weird, but it works! You can find the designer for the character and ask them what kind of part should they have in this part that you can't see they can really help you a lot. So the first part, a lot of reference pictures of the character. After this, second part. This is going to sound really weird. We are going to back to the old school style, do a mind map. It sounds really weird, but this technique has helped me a lot. Because if you sit there with the, a lot of picture of the character and you, you're sitting there and being like, oh my god, my mind is going crazy. This character has so many details. I don't know where to start. Do a mind map. Put the character in, in the middle or draw the character and then draw lines for the part she has on. So here you can see Lara Croft in the middle. Beautiful lady. Then I start putting all of the parts she has on, the clothing, the props, everything around her. Draw this also, you don't need to use a computer. Draw the lines, then you have more control over the character, what kind of stuff she has on. Then you have easier to decide which detail you want to start with. After that, make a list. This is also really important. Make a list of everything the character has on. I know we did a mind map already, but a list will help you when you start and decide what detail you are going to start with, then it's easier to know what you have left to do from that character. So here you can see a paper. Write down everything. Wig, t-shirt, jeans, walkie-talkie, gun, bow, everything that Lara Croft has on. You can see on this list. So let's decide, where should I start? Let's take the Isaacs. So I choose the Isaacs. 
And when I start with the ice axe, and when I'm done with it, I can just draw a line on that and be like, I have done that part. Now I can start with something new. So I think that is most important thing to do. Have a really good research and also a lot of pictures of the character. And remember to have the list. So you know and can go through with every part this character has. So guys, go and start with your cosplay now and choose a character you really like. And let's see next time. So, thank you so much for watching this video. I, I hope you like this video and if I can do more of these videos, please subscribe to my channel or support me on my Twitch. Just, you are awesome guys. Thank you so much for watching. Dragon has arrived! And I hope you have a really good day. Bye bye! Pancake pop! <laughs>